Okay guys, so today's video, we're going to three different Italian restaurants, each one going higher and higher in price point to see how much we can eat with $25, how delicious the food's gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and review all three of them and give you guys my honest opinion. All right, so we're gonna start today at Pepperoni's Tavern. Wish us luck. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get the manicotti. It's $14.49. And then we're also gonna go and get the side salad here. Um, I like Caesar salads, so we're gonna go with that. All right, and for dessert, we're gonna go with the uh, ice brownies for $4.59. Okay, and that brings it to right at $23.83. So I think that's a successful little order there. All right, guys, so this is the Caesar salad. We're gonna go put a little dressing on that. And it came with a side of what looks like garlic bread. It has, looks like poppy seed, uh, dry cilantro, I believe. And then the star of the show here, the manicotti pasta. All right, so the greens are definitely nice and fresh, nice and crunchy. but it has nice savory taste. I don't think it's homemade, but it definitely know how to pick up a good sauce. I give the salad a solid seven. It's good, but it needs a little, a little something. Maybe a little Parmesan cheese on top. Or... All right, so the bread, it's a little flat. Let's see how it tastes. The taste is really good. It's a little salty, very garlicky. I give the bread, honestly, probably like a four out of 10. All right, now it's time for the star of the show here. I'm really excited about this because it smells phenomenal. Take a look at that, that's cheese stretching. Okay. That's delicious. Yeah, I give that like a good eight or nine out of 10. It's nice and sweet, the sauce has good texture to it. Very hearty. Cheese is creamy, this ricotta cheese is it's perfect for this. The pasta's al dente. I give this, I give this a good knock, nine out of 10. I give this place probably a solid eight and a half out of 10. All right, so this here looks like a ginormous brownie. Ooh, look at that. Looks nice and warm in the middle. Ah, mm. oh, dang, that's good. This is definitely homemade. There's so much chocolate inside the brownies. Very decadent, very rich. Very rich, moist brownie on top. You got a nice thick chocolate sauce, some powdered sugar, vanilla ice cream to go with it. It's a perfect mix. Very good. All right guys, that experience was amazing. 24.44. The service was great, the food was great. I think the bread was a little lacking, salad was a little lacking, but they made up for it with the most important thing, and that's the entree. So delicious, everything was great. I give this place a good eight out of 10, honestly. Really good stuff. All right, we're gonna go next to our next restaurant. This place was in a 10 to $20 range. The next one's supposed to be in a 20 to $30 range. Let's see what $25 buys us there. All right guys, so we ended up in Roswell at Ips Pasteria and Bar. Now, under $25, it looks like we're gonna get a bowl of soup. We're gonna get the Italian wedding soup, $5.95. And then if you go down here, they have the Celentani Creamy Pesto for $16.95. That'll put us right around $23. I think with taxes, it'll push us right at $25. And we are tipping everyone everywhere that we go. So I'm not counting that as part of it because you have to tip your waitress or waiter. All right, so let's see how this goes. All right guys, so just straight off the bat, look at this presentation. They got it right here in a little skillet. All right, the bread, I mean, a full 360 from the other bread. I love some good Italian bread. I love good rolls. We have Parmesan, parsley on top. Nice golden crunchy surface. Mm. So delicious. It's buttery, it's soft, still has a nice crunch and crust to it. Sauce, looks handmade. Big, nice, chunky pieces of tomato in there. Let's try it together. There's nice hints of rosemary in there. 
All around, I give this bread 10 out of 10. This bread's delicious. All right, so here we got the Celentani pesto pasta. Has some nice chicken in it. I'll taste the chicken first. It's good. There's something about it just doesn't scream, you know, homemade. The pasta's delicious. The pesto is nice. It has a nice salty note to it, nice and creamy. The color is just fabulous. Just look at this color. They have nice tomatoes in it, some good Parmesan cheese. Let's try the wedding soup. Okay, so we've got pasta, sausage, thinly diced onions. Looks like parsley or cilantro. I think the soup's better than the pasta. This is good, don't get me wrong. It's just a little too salty for me. You know, it feels like it's one dimensional in taste. I feel like it's more of like a $12 pasta. But all in all, it's pretty good. All right, guys, we were able to eat that for $23.60. I think it was a really good experience. All in all, if I round it all together, I give it a seven. And honestly, most of that was because of the bread. And I love bread and I'm probably biased to garlic rolls. The soup was a solid six. The entree was a solid seven. Chicken seemed like it wasn't really homemade, uh, made from the strips that you can get pre-packaged. The soup kind of tastes like it was out of a can. Just added a little bit of an extra vegetable to it. Um, we're gonna go to another restaurant, it's supposed to be in a $30 to $50 range, and see what we can get there, if anything. I'm also kind of full, so if I get something small, just forgive me, okay? Catch you in a little bit. All right, so we ended up at Osteria Matone. This place is a little more fancy, as you can tell. There's olive oil and Parmesan cheese on the plate. We got some nice bread. Oh wow, it's almost like garlic bread meets sponge cake. Dip it in this here, oil and Parmesan. Don't take that back. It's like garlic Parmesan meets a donut. It's really good, very creative. Very good twist. Crunchy on the bottom, spongy all throughout, very moist. It's all, all around delicious. All right, so this is the dark Manhattan. It smells like Lipton nest tea. Oof. Put some hair in your chest for sure. That's strong. Really delicious though. 13 bucks, it's like two fluid ounces. Definitely enough to get me wasted. <laughs> Look at that, it's thick, it's jiggling, it's wiggling. And apparently this is like jello mixed with whipped cream. It's really good. I'm sorry if uh, that offended anybody. It's really delicious though. So what I have learned from this experiment is that $25 gets you more food, the cheaper the restaurant, but it doesn't always equate to the food being better the more you pay for it. This here's a delicious beverage. This is a delicious dessert, but it cost me 25 bucks. I feel like I could have eaten a lot more anywhere else. Either way, the food is delicious here. I had I had a little bit more money, I think I would have bought something else and enjoyed a great meal here. You guys have yourself a good day, okay? 